Pokemon Go has become the most popular and the number one mobile gaming app of all time in just a month. All the players of Pokemon Go are hyped about the team choosing. Basically you just can't choose any team until you reach level 5. So when you do, you get to choose any one between the three teams. Team Valor, Team Mystic and Team Instinct. Practically. There is no difference between the teams, the only logical difference is the dominancy of the teams in your area. If you join the team that seems the most dominant in your area, you can easily join and keep friendly teams, since there will be fewer opposing team members. You will have more opportunities for you to add your Pokemon into an existing friendly gym. According to the statistics, the number of players of Team Mystic is huge. Team Mystic has 42% member, that's like nearly half the total. Team Valor has 32% and the least number of members are in Team Instinct which is 26%. If there's no practical difference between the teams then why there is such a difference? I'm here to answer your question, well there could be multiple reasons. In this video. I am going to highlight the psychological side of the influence. If you have noticed the picture of the teams, Team Mystic is the center of every photo leaving Team Valor and Team Instinct on the two sides. And the psychologists say that the vast majority of people notice the one in the middle. It is called the center stage effect. It is one of the most common marketing tools. We tend to overlook the ones which are on the sides. For example, if we are to pick one chocolate from three line chocolates, most of us would choose the one which is in the middle. Well, for someone who will start Pokemon Go, there is a very high possibility that he will choose Team Mystic. As Team Mystic has the most number of players, every newbie will most likely have friends in that team which will persuade him to be a member of that team. It is in our human nature to follow the way which most of the persons around us choose without even thinking for a second. So to think about this fact, newbies doesn't actually have an equal choice of choosing teams. Especially if your close friends are on a specific team, you would want to join that to be able to play it together. As Team Mystic's member number is way greater than the other teams, the number of success is also high on this team. Team Mystic has the most number of wins and the most number of gems are controlled by Team Mystic. In this world, everyone wants to be the winner or on the winning side. Nobody wants to be on the losing side of anything. We feel ashamed of expressing our defeat to others. Especially when it comes to gaming, majority wants to just win it and have a sense of glory. Instead of going through challenges like real hardcore games, that's why everyone is lining up to join Team Mystic. And as the most teams are controlled by Team Mystic, it is going to be a serious struggle for other teams to gain dominance over an area. And if they are able to do, they may go through under a huge pressure which can lead to losing control over the gym. So if you are a Team Mystic player, you won't have to go through that kind of struggle and continue playing in a really comfortable way. Color also plays a role in choosing teams. According to many tests, the most popular color in the world is blue. The second favorite colors are red and green, followed by orange, brown and purple. Yellow is the least favorite color. That's the exact way how the three teams have been lined up. First Mystic Blue, then Valor Red, then Instinct Yellow. The color blue is much appreciated as it is the color of the sky on a sunny day or the color of the calm sea. Blue is also associated with strategic planning, but red defines anger, rage and passion and is associated with aggression. So many would just automatically choose the color blue over the color red. For example, Team Mystic over Team Valor and Team Instinct. Especially because in the gaming world, red is mostly used in action games or shooting games. But when you think of Pokemon Go, aggression isn't the first thing that comes to mind. It's more about thinking, planning and taking actions accordingly. Wisdom is highly appreciated specifically in this type of games. And the intro text of Mystic is also very attractive which is, 
The wisdom of Pokemon is immeasurably deep. I'm researching why it is that they evolve. My team, with our calm analysis of every situation, we can't lose. So when it comes to choosing team, the psychological game acts as a major factor. If the members of every team were balanced, we would have seen a lot of competition in the game. So a shout out to the newcomers, choose your team wisely, make sure you consider what's best for the area you live in. Do some research before making a choice. That's all for now.